Hey, hey friends, it's Kimberly here, registered nurse and business development director with specialty care management. You know, have you ever walked through the store and trick you, you, see, you kind of trick yourself. You walk through the store, maybe you're shopping at Walmart and you see this rollback sticker and it's a really good price and you're tempted to throw that item in your cart because you can save a lot of money because it's got the rollback sticker. It's on sale, right? And you throw that in your cart and you get home, if you're like me anyway, you get home and you say, oh my gosh, I saved so much on this thing. And your husband says, I could have saved more because I don't need that thing, right? And sometimes that's exactly how we're shopping for benefits. Now, if you need a service, if you need an item, shopping to save money on that item and get greater value makes absolute sense. Throwing things in your cart that you don't really need to, to purchase in the first place don't make much sense. And we do do this with benefits. One way that I see that play out is in particular, if we look at our CKD management program or cancer management program in particular, these two programs are not created to um, get a discount on the treatment that your members are receiving. There are lots of places for that, lots of great, I have lots of great colleagues that can help you with that. I'm happy to point you in their direction. Um, people that I hold in high regard and trust that I know will service the need for that, that, for that, um, that, that particular savings that you're looking for. The value that these programs offer is in trying to make sure that you don't need that item, right? You're not gonna put it in your cart because you don't need it. Not just, how do I get this for less cost? How about you not put it in your cart in the first place? That's the value of these preemptive specialty uh, nurse coaching care management programs. These programs in particular with um, CKD management program, the goal of this program is to help ensure that we're working directly with the member who drives the cost for dialysis, right? And we do that in such a way as to help, the highest aim of this program is to help make sure that the member doesn't put dialysis in their cart working upstream from dialysis, we absolutely can um, sometimes prevent a member from progressing to dialysis altogether, or we can slow that process down and delay the start. You delay dialysis three to six months or a year, there's a whole lot of savings there. Making sure that members don't crash into dialysis. When your member is not prepared and they don't know how to navigate that system. They don't know how to communicate with their physician. Sometimes they don't even know what questions to ask. And 90% of the time, they don't even know that they have kidney disease in the first place, let alone that they're getting ready to get scheduled for dialysis, right? So when your member crashes to dialysis in that manner, it's not only traumatic for the member, but it's literally, I've seen $60,000 upwards of $150,000 just for that emergent start not ongoing dialysis, just for that flash in time where we go put a catheter in their neck and then we admit them to the hospital in the ICU for three days to get them started. We can avoid that altogether when we catch these members early enough. We cannot put that emergent start in their cart. We can give them a more optimal start. We can help them choose modalities. Do they wanna think about coming home? Do they wanna look at a transplant? Oftentimes these members aren't being educated to their options. Many times people are on dialysis for a year or more before they even hear about transplant as an option, which is gonna save you a lot of money. Um, or cancer. When we look at cancer and what we're seeing, and I'm sure you're seeing a lot of these studies that are showing, especially in the face of a pandemic, we're seeing more and more members who are initially diagnosed in very late stages of cancer. And oftentimes what we're seeing are low ticket if there's such a thing, low ticket cancers are becoming some of the highest spend for groups. Breast and colon cancers being initially diagnosed in very late stages are incredibly expensive and they shouldn't be, right? 
this is where we put, we don't have to put that late stage initial diagnosis in our shopping cart. That's the kind of savings that upstream mitigation can provide for you and your groups. If you want to know more, uh, in particular about these two programs, CKD Management, Cancer Management, they're very unique in the marketplace. It's not a PEPM. It's very much value-based that um, provides real savings uh, for your groups. If you want to know more, it really is one of our favorite things to talk about. Don't put things in your cart that you don't need in the first place. Make it a great day. Bye, friends.